Hey guys, this is Austin, and today on The Cheapest Stuff on Amazon, I bought the four cheapest laptops that are currently available on Amazon that are brand new with Prime Shipping, of course. First of all, we have the Dell Inspiron 11, which is not only the cheapest laptop here at $170, but we've actually done an entire video on this earlier this year. Put simply, it actually gets a lot of basic stuff right. Unlike a lot of budget laptops, this is powered by an AMD processor, and I'll get into that a little bit more in a second. But generally speaking, it is a little bit cheap, but for the most part, you actually get something that is surprisingly usable. Next, we have the Samsung Chromebook 3 at $180. Now, this is similar in a lot of ways, but the key difference, of course, is that it is running Chrome OS. It has the same tiny 11.6 inch display. What's different about this is of course the idea that instead of having to run Windows, we have a much more lightweight operating system, which makes a big difference to the general performance. Then there's the Evo EVC, which at less than $200 is a little bit of a weird choice. And it does come with a larger 12.5 inch display, and there are some cool features like a fingerprint sensor, but there are also some major, major drawbacks. Three gigs of RAM is definitely unusual, but with a quad core processor, it seems pretty solid. I mean, they're pretty obvious about it on the box. Not only does it say on the sticker, but also several times here that it is a quad core chip. Except when you open up Task Manager and see that it's actually a dual core Celeron, which, uh, yeah, that's great. This isn't a total deal breaker, as several of the other laptops here are also dual core, but I think it's more than just a little bit sketchy that they advertise it as a quad core processor and give you 50% of what you're paying. You know what does have a quad core processor? The Asus VivoBook, which has a very obvious amount of stickers and badges saying that it does in fact have four cores, exactly as you would expect. The issue here is that this is a much older AMD processor, and while it does have decent performance, as you guys will see soon, it's not all that impressive, and even worse, you hear that? That's a fan, my friends. Unlike the other laptops, this is not fanless, and it's significantly thicker because of that. As the only laptop here with a 14-inch screen, that is an advantage for some people, and there are a ton of ports. So if you take a look on the side, we have not only USB-C, but also a couple of USB-As, we have Ethernet, SD, even HDMI. Flip the laptop over, and we have a very convenient little door, which gives us access to the two and a half inch drive bay. Now that is unique among these laptops. All of them, with the exception of the Chromebook, have only 32 gigs of storage, which as you might imagine, is difficult to run Windows on. So for the most part, you're gonna to need to install something like a micro SD for extra space. But with this guy, you can very easily upgrade it with a hard drive or an SSD. When you click on a video talking about the cheapest laptops on Amazon, you probably don't expect a lot of performance. And you would be right. With the Chromebook and Evo, you get a dual core Intel Celeron processor with four gigs of RAM on the Samsung and three on the Evo. Whereas with the Dell Inspiron, we actually have an AMD dual core processor. Now if we move over to the Asus, it of course does have that awesome quad core power. But as you will see, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Run everything through Geekbench and the Dell does take the win slightly over the Celeron processors. But what's especially disappointing is the performance of that Asus. Because it's such an older processor, even though it's got the fan, even though it's got the thicker build, it is still significantly slower. And that's not just in benchmarks. Use the Asus and it does feel a lot slower for normal use. Speaking of the real world, I do think the Chromebook does feel fastest. Now fastest is a little bit of a relative term. It's certainly not as quick as any kind of more expensive laptop, but because Chrome OS is so much lighter weight than Windows, it feels reasonably snappy. I will give it to the Dell for being the fastest of the Windows systems, having the four gigs of RAM as well as a decent CPU and actually kind of okay graphics does make a big difference. But again, all four of these systems, they're a little on the slow side. Then by a little, I mean, a lot on the slow side. At this price, all of these laptops are absolutely made out of plastic, but there are fairly big differences in build quality. Not all plastic is the same. It's built, what, I always forget it. What is it, what's the phrase? Not all plastic is, is built the same. Create equal, create equal. Not all created equal, guys. The Evo is definitely at the bottom of the pack here. I mean, just look at how much I can flex the chassis. Just, oh, you hear that? Ugh, yeah, um, I mean, it'll probably last you a little while, but durability doesn't really strike me as the strong suit of... Ugh, no, no, no. In comparison, the Dell is an absolute tank, and I mean, it's still not super, super sturdy, but there's no real flex on the bottom. The actual keyboard itself is pretty sturdy. There's a little bit on the screen, but generally speaking, this does feel like it can take a little bit more abuse. When it comes to screens, all four of these laptops have the same standard 1366 by 768 resolution. Now there is a slight advantage to the ASUS as far as having a bigger 14-inch screen, but let's be real, these are all kind of okay, they're decent, 
but none of them look remotely as good as something that costs even another $100. Speakers, on the other hand, are a little different. So the Dell is the only one with front firing speakers, but the only issue here is that they are incredibly small. They sound okay, but they just don't get all that loud. The Chromebook and VivoBook sound fine, but what doesn't is our good friend, the Evo. Guys, this is the craziest weapon of all time. Cast yourself out Yeah, so I mean, they're tinny, they're quiet, just not really a good experience, which I guess you shouldn't expect that much for $200, but all the other laptops sound a lot better. When it comes to keyboards, the Chromebook is my clear favorite. Not only does it have a nice clean layout and full-size keys, but it also does have a small but pretty solid touchpad. The ASUS is right up there thanks to its full-size layout, whereas the Dell feels pretty decent to type on, but the main issue here is that it is just a physically smaller keyboard. Look, the Evo I will be blunt with. This might be the worst laptop keyboard I've used in quite a while. Not only does it have a weirdly small layout, but the keys themselves feel like brittle maybe? It is just not a nice place to type. I will give the Evo this. It is unique in this group in that it does have a fingerprint sensor built into the touchpad. And really there's not a lot bad to say about it. It works just as well as these sensors and much more expensive laptops. Wi-Fi is a bit of a sore point for the Windows laptops. They're all limited to 2.4 gigahertz wireless, which really does slow things down quite a bit. Except when it comes to the Chromebook, which has dual band AC Wi-Fi. Now sure, these are slower systems, but even if you ignore the speed difference, which is fairly significant, you get a much more reliable connection, and that's something that's important for any laptop. So, should you buy any of the cheapest laptops on Amazon? Well, maybe? The Chromebook is probably the best bet here. Not only is it a well-built package, but importantly, pretty much anything you'd want to do on a sub $200 laptop, you probably can do on Chrome OS. On the Windows side, I like the Dell Inspiron. Not only is it the cheapest laptop here, but as far as a budget system goes, this checks almost all of the boxes for what I'm looking for. So that, my friends, is a roundup of all of the cheapest laptops on Amazon. As always, links to all of these guys will be in the description. If you want to feel free to, you know, check them out, although maybe avoid the Evo.